Hello everyone, this is Aysan and in this video I'm going to show you my newly bought new coffee fish that will be added into my collection. I bought two strains and I will show you them in this video. It's been already weeks since I bought these pairs of guppy fish and they have been already transferred into their respective tubs and aquariums so first I want to show you these new strain of mine that you have already seen in the first or intro part of the video I'm gonna use these viewing tank so that you can see them clearly and up close this new strain I am already breeding them I only have one male and one female and it's already been two weeks since I started breeding them we we're gonna catch them now to see their appearance so you can see that they have a red coloration on their tail and they have a platinum body so this is a platinum domb ear red tail copy and it is a popular strain among beginner copy keepers so here you can see that the male and female p-dirt have different features that is shown on their body so you can see that the female has no coloration on its body and its dorsal except for its tail that has a red coloration on the other hand the male has a bright red coloration on its tail and dorsal fin it also has a platinum body from his stomach up to the tip of his head and lastly it has a dark dumbo ear pectorals the female looks very healthy and it also has a big stomach or big belly and it's very dark and I think it's already pregnant since it's been two weeks since I already bred them in their tub. So we're gonna wait for at least two to three weeks before we can see the result of our breeding process in this pair of coffee fish. And I'm hoping to have a big yield of this strain in the future or we can produce more of their offsprings. So this strain of guppy is very easy to keep. They are a hardy type of guppy fish and this is very well recommended for beginner guppy keepers. That's why it's very popular to keep a peter now these days. So here on top you can see that the pectorals of the male peter is very big. It is the most notable feature of this strain of copy, along with the red coloration of its tail. Actually, the red coloration sometimes starts from the peduncle up to the caudal fin. Also, its platinum body gives highlight to its pectoral and red tail coloration. That's why it stands out when you see them in the aquarium or in the pond. So now it's time to release them back into their tub. So the next strain that I will show you is one of my most favorite strain of copy fish. It also has a red coloration. So this is a um, albino full red copy. I bought some semi breeders and a big female breeder of albino full red and there it is in the aquarium so I'm planning to transfer them here in this 10 gallon tub or 10 gallon tank in the future but for now um, I'm gonna let these red dragon copies live here and I have time up to transfer this into another tank so that I can breed these albino full red in this 10 gallon aquarium before we move on to the new strain, I want to show you that I have lots of breeding project going on in this or in my area. This is also a red dragon guppy and this is already the offspring of my red dragon guppy pair that I bought. If you have seen my last videos on my YouTube channel. So an update about our main breeder of red dragon guppy. This is him now. This is what he looks like. He is now fully mature and develop a very good pattern, a good very snakeskin pattern on its body and on its caudal. 
I still continue to breed him along with other female red dragon copies because I want to have so many offspring from this male red dragon copy so that we can have more beautiful red dragons in the future. As you can see here that it is a very amazing line of red dragon copy. So here it is now, one of the additions to our copy collection, the albino full red copy. These copies are still on their semi-breeder stage but is ready to breed already. However, we can expect less yield on the copy fry but I'm very excited to breed this strain of copy and produce some fry in the future. So albino means a red eye strain of animal or here we have a red eye strain of guppy and red eye strain means a fry eater so we have to be very careful on breeding the strain. So when the time comes that we have already successfully bred the strain of guppy we have to put the female into the enclosure before she gives birth so that she will not be able to eat her own guppy fry. So we have two semi-breeder female and a semi-breeder male and I have a one fully grown female that is very big and very mature and is ready to give birth to lots of fry. So here you can see that the female has no much coloration in its body it has an orange body with red pectoral and red tail or, or red caudal tail while here the male has a full red coloration on its body from the tip of its mouth up to the tip of its caudal tail so when I have some time and I'm not busy I'm gonna transfer these full red copies into the 10 gallon aquarium which I have put my red dragon copies so this line of full red is very good it has a good coloration a solid coloration with no washes when we say wash we have um, an unnecessary colors appearing on the body of the gobby fish like this full red sometimes it produces a purple wash sometimes the cow dolphin has no coloration at all however I'm very positive and very optimistic with this copy strain because I bought this from a very trusted fish seller which produces good lines of copy fish for now, we are going to let these albino full red breed here in this 2.5 gallon aquarium along with the semi breeder females. However, the bigger female is already pregnant, said to me by the fish seller, which also the pair of these male albino full red. So, next time I will update you again if I already transferred all the albino full red in the 10 gallon aquarium. So, that's all for this video, and see you again very soon.